Welcome to the 2021 Ohio 4-H Awards Recognition Event. I'm Kirk Bloor, State 4-H Program Leader, and I'm delighted to share this evening with you. 2020 was a year like no other, but we are so very proud of our youth who persevered and the volunteers who made 4-H opportunities available to them. Tonight, we honor our 2021 Volunteer Award winners, Hall of Fame inductees, 10-year milestones, Teen of the Year, and the Teen Hall of Fame inductees. And it is fitting that we this happens to be during Ohio 4-H week. And join me in thanking Farm Credit Mid-America, Bob Evans Farms, and the Ohio 4-H Foundation for graciously sponsoring this evening's program. The late Bob Evans was inducted into the 4-H Hall of Fame in 1982, thanks to his longtime support of Ohio 4-H. We are so appreciative that Bob Evans Farms continues that support today. My name is Deborah Cornell, Chief Human Resources Officer with Bob Evans Farms and proud Ohio 4-H Foundation Board member. As a farmer, a neighbor, and a visionary, Bob Evans showed that the Ohio soil was good for growing many things, including one remarkable legacy. A Southeastern Ohio native, husband to Jewel and father of six, Bob Evans lived by the mantra, treat strangers like friends and friends like family. It served him and his business well and many lives he enriched. Always a farmer, he constantly promoted more efficient techniques to better the environment. He also helped influence a new generation of farmers by actively supporting organizations like Ohio 4-H. Bob's legacy is the heart of Bob Evans Farms. Our spirit of giving began with him. His generosity and passion for helping others set the foundation for the work we do today. Congratulations to today's award winners, honorees, and inductees. Like Bob, your dedication, generosity, and passion for helping others are truly an inspiration. Thank you. We'll begin this evening's program by recognizing the 2021 class of the Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame. Tonight's honorees are in good company. The first honorees included the founder of 4-H, A.B. Graham, and the living members of the first 4-H club in Ohio. This award is sponsored by the Ohio 4-H Foundation. The Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame Award recognizes individuals who made significant contributions to the 4-H program through impact on their club, community, and region of the state. Through their dedication and leadership, our three inductees this year have collectively touched the lives of thousands of Ohio 4-H families. Our first inductee is Tony Carrera from Mahoning County. Tony is more than just a 4-H advisor to the youth in his club. He is a mentor who is always ready to go beyond what is expected. He mentors youth to learn from their projects, to gain skills they will use throughout their lives. In the early 70s, Tony saw a need at the Mahoning County Fair to provide affordable food for families. The pop shop was born and since have served as a place not only for food, but as a place for 4-H youth to work and learn business and customer service skills. Proceeds from the Pop Shop supports youth development opportunities in the county. Tony is a mentor and role model for many volunteers through the many committees on which he has served. Many of his 4-H alumni have returned to thank him for teaching them how to mentor others. Tony, let's hear from you. My name is Anthony Carrera from Mahoning County. I have enjoyed making a difference in our county for the past 55 years and as an advisor of the Campfield Brother Buddies and a committee member and the founder of the Pop Shop Restaurant. My highlights as a 4 H volunteer have been to work alongside my wife, Ella May to share my horse of knowledge and life experience with youth so they can make best, better, especially my five children. The other is watching the pop shop restaurant grow and continue to give back to 4-H and junior fair youth programs. It has been my many years of hard work, but I made it in countless memories and lifetime friends and have had many years of fun. Our next inductee this evening is Karen Corcoran from Ross County. 
Karen has made significant lifetime contributions of service to the Ohio 4-H program through the Ohio 4-H Foundation Board of Directors, which in turn has resulted in positive impact upon clubs, communities, and the state 4-H program. Karen's lifetime of service began as a 10-year member of 4-H and continued as an adult, volunteering at Tar Hollow 4-H camps as a cook, judging projects, and helping other members understand the value of volunteering. Karen has served on the Ohio 4-H Foundation Board for 14 years, chairing various committees and ultimately serving as president. During her tenure, our annual celebration of youth fundraiser grew from generating $100,000 each year to more than $150,000. Karen is a humble, compassionate, accomplished leader that others look to for thoughts and experience. Karen, let's hear from you. Hi, I am Karen Corcoran and I proudly displayed my I got my start in 4-H sign because it's true. I'm a proud 10-year member of Shelby County 4-H. I am thankful for my former 4-H advisors, Carol Cruzy and Treva Holzmeyer. Like all 4-Hers, I looked forward to the fair to be able to show my 4-H projects and connect with friends I had made at 4-H camp. In fact, I met my best friend at 4-H camp. After graduating from Ohio State and marrying my college sweetheart, I made Ross County my home. I joined a great 4-H family that had their own history of showing livestock, attending camps, and serving in leadership positions under the direction of 4-H professionals such as B. Cleveland, Jim Hell, and Kathy Cox. I became a 4-H advisor and I judged 4-H projects at county fairs. My opportunity to serve 13 years on the Ohio 4-H Foundation is certainly the pinnacle of my 4-H experience. The Ohio 4-H Foundation makes the best better. The best, of course, is the youth, the advisors, 4-H parents, and the outstanding 4-H staff. But where the foundation makes the best better is by raising the funds needed to support programming and activities. Being president of the Higher 4-H Foundation gave me the opportunity to lead a diverse team of volunteers whose passion was not only to support 4-H, but to replicate the program to serve all youth in Ohio. I hope that in some way, my enthusiasm, energy, and commitment allowed our team to accomplish its mission. It was inspiring to work with leaders from business and industry, retired and current 4-H professionals, and 4-H youth. I would like to thank my fellow Ohio 4-H board members, program directors, and others who nominated me for this Hall of Fame. Thank you for recognizing that my contributions and my personal motto of Relationships Matter perhaps made a difference. Special thanks to John Mount, Nancy Patterson, Jean Bell, Bob Joseph, Lisa Peterson, Cindy Rasmussen, Tom Archer, and Kurt Rohr. Lastly, I would like to thank my husband, Tim, for supporting my volunteer work in 4-H. To my children, Greg, Lisa, and Andrea, thank you for being a great 4-H family. You learned by doing, you did your best, and you are now encouraging your own children to be 4-Hers. Being inducted into the Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame is an honor. I'm Ohio 4-H proud. Our final Hall of Fame inductee is Peg Nouse from Wood County. There are few people who have made a greater impact on 4-H youth in Wood County than Peg. Her enthusiasm, special skills, and continued dedication and volunteerism make her a valued treasure. Not only does she give hundreds of hours to youth in her role as an advisor of the Golden Key 4-H Club for the past 31 years, but it's in her role as 4-H camp nurse where her two loves, children and healthcare are combined. Wood County campers with cuts, scrapes, and tummy aches have appreciated Nurse Peg's caring demeanor for 30 years. She has a knack for giving homesick campers a much needed hug and sending them off with a smile. Peg has donated camperships for needy families, judged projects, and taught craft sessions. Peg is a brilliant example of what is good about 4-H. Peg, let's hear from you. Hello, I'm Peggy Noss from Wood County. This will be my 32nd year as a 4-H advisor. I would like to thank the Ohio 4-H staff for selecting me for this wonderful award and also a congratulations to the others being inducted today into the, to the Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame. I was born in 1951 and in 1952, my parents, Paul and Jane Kale, along with Vic and Eileen Herrenshaw started the Golden Key Calf Club, now known as the Golden Key 4-H Club. So I guess I've been in 4-H 
since I was in diapers. Anyway, I was able to join 4-H at the age of 10 through 18, where I took Hereford Steers in the Calf Club and also did cooking and sewing projects in the Rudolph Stitch and Batter Club. After I was old enough to be a counselor, I did that until they didn't want me anymore. I was too old. And I ended up getting married and having three sons, Brian, Jason, and Mark, who were also members of the Golden Key 4-H Club. I started helping my mom after my da dad passed, and I found myself volunteering to be the camp nurse over at Camp Palmer. Oh, I was so excited. Anyway, as a camp nurse, and I was known as Nurse Peg, any, any of the campers could come any time of the day, and they would come in with big tears in their eye and maybe complaints of a headache or a tummy ache, which I knew was a homesicker, and we took care of those kids. There was those that had a little blood, speck of blood from an old mosquito bite, many rashes, many bumps and bruises, and even those ticks that I would remove from many of the campers. Also one year, uh, one of our adult staff was practicing for one of our great uh, campfire skits and had a probable fractured foot. Also, some of the counselors would come in with sore throats and laryngitis, and that was from singing too many times the ship Titanic. Also, now we have scraped knees, elbows, and finger knuckles from kids playing the Gaga Ball. Oh boy, what a joyous time I've had over the years, and I can't thank my family for allowing me to go to 4-H camp every year, and the Wood County staff for putting up with me and helping me. Thanks again for this glorious award. Thank you, Peg. The portraits of these newest members of the Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame will be displayed in the Nationwide and Ohio Farm Bureau 4-H Center. Congratulations to these outstanding inductees into the Ohio 4-H Hall of Fame. And now it's my pleasure to turn the evening over to Dr. Hannah Epley. Good evening. I'm Hannah Epley, Interim Associate State 4-H Leader and Camping and Older Youth Specialist. Next, we recognize the recipients of the Ohio Friend of 4-H Award, sponsored by the Honorable Frederick and Mrs. Catherine Pepple. This award recognizes individuals, families, businesses, or corporations who support the 4-H program financially at the local, county, district, state, or national level. Let's meet our 2021 Friends of 4-H. First is the Fraternal Order of the Eagles, number 3881 in Ashtabula County. Since 2016, the Jefferson Eagles has provided financial assistance of more than $10,000 to the County 4-H program. The group contributes a portion of their net earnings from Games of Chance to local nonprofits and the Ashtabula County 4-H Dairy Program has been one of the recipients of their generosity. Their support resulted in improvements at the county fairgrounds, including concrete floors in the barns and new electrical service with a new roof and storage space in future plans. In addition to an outstanding space for youth to showcase their animals, this space is also used for a countywide ag day for 1,100 first graders, county skillathons, and clinics. Next, we recognize the Jackson County Friends of 4-H. The positive 4-H experience of thousands of Jackson County youth would not have been possible without the efforts of the Jackson County Friends of 4-H. In 2006, Jackson County received a 67% budget cut, and in 2009, they received zero funding, and the 4-H educator was the only staff member funded by the county level for five years. For the past 14 years, the Friends of the 4-H Committee hosts fundraisers and events that raise close to $40,000 each year to fund the Jackson County OSU Extension Office. The group continues to find innovative ways to keep the 4-H program alive for the youth of today and those of future generations. Their unmatched dedication and perseverance has made a tremendous impact on the youth of Jackson County.
Our third friend of 4-H tonight is McLeish Auction Services in Washington County. McLeish Auction Services is a great example of giving back to their community. Their tireless efforts to bring the best price for livestock auctions has helped many 4-H youth raise funds for future 4-H projects, college, their first car, and more. Washington County is unique because they have three fairs and three separate livestock auctions. McLeish volunteers at all three and works to bring the most profit to market livestock exhibitors. They also volunteer for their annual Washington County Endowment Dinner, and with their help, the committee has raised more than $260,000. These funds are used to purchase supplies for program, camp, outdoor education, and support for youth participating in national and statewide camps and trips. Thank you, and congratulations to all our friend of 4-H honorees. Thanks, Hannah. I'm Jeff Dick, Volunteerism and Community Club Field Specialist for Ohio 4-H. Our next award, the Community Service Award, recognizes volunteers or clubs that undertake service programs and activities that make a positive impact in their communities. Donors of this award are Steve and Cindy Rasmussen. Our first Community Service Award for 2020 goes to Lawrence County 4-H Team Leaders. Each year, the Lawrence County 4-H team leaders have partnered with local school districts to participate in Angel Tree Projects, where volunteers shop anonymously for youth in need. Even amid the pandemic, the team leaders of the 4-H club decided to continue their annual community service project, but due to safety concerns, the teams were unable to shop in person. This dilemma did not slow them down. They organized a virtual Angel Tree shopping experience. They met via Zoom, distributed the needs of those very uh, that were, they were shopping for, sent links back and forth to each other, and made decisions resulting in three Lawrence County youth receiving gifts during the holiday season that may have not otherwise received gifts. Thank you and congratulations, Lawrence County 4-H team leaders. Hello everyone, my name is Bria Belleville and I'm the president of the Lawrence County Teen Leaders Club. I'm currently a junior at Sims Valley High School and I started my 4-H journey when I was in kindergarten, so this is my 11th year as a 4-H'er and my third year as a teen leader. Here in Lawrence County, what we like to call the heart of Southern Ohio, one of the highlights of being able to volunteer with the Teen Leaders Club is being able to know that you're investing into the future of 4-H and agriculture. Each of us members branch out into the many opportunities that 4-H has to offer, like car teens, camp counseling and clover bud discovery days but we're always united by being able to be a role model for the next generation a highlight for many is clover bud interviews where clover buds get to talk one-on-one -on -one with us teen leaders every year at the fair another highlight here in our county is clover bud discovery days we have art days nutrition days stem days and so much more i think our teens love it just as much as the kids Another highlight of our leadership in action is being able to announce the shows at the fair and pass out awards. We always have a lot of fun announcing shows and this picture captures that. You'll notice that we all three have on green lanyards and name tags. We like to have a little friendly competition at Lawrence County Teen Leaders and we keep track of who attends the most volunteering events at the fair. Whoever has the most tallies at the end of the week is the winner. By far the most humbling event that the teen leaders participate in is the Angel Tree Outreach. As a group, we go to local stores and we pick out Christmas gifts for school-aged children in our county. Although we were not able to shop in person like we wanted to, we still wanted to be able to be a part of the Angel Tree Outreach. We did this by shopping online and adapting under the circumstances. We worked together to pick out which kind of outfits and toys we wanted to give back to the children in our community. I would like to thank those of you that continue to recognize our efforts of serving our community and our youth. It is our goal to uphold the third H of pledging our hands to larger service. Whether it be virtual or in person, we strive to be leaders. It is with great honor that I accept this award on behalf of the Lawrence County Team Leaders and our advisor, Rachel Fraley. Thank you. Our next community service award goes to Donnie Swain of Adams County. The Revolution of Rabbits in Adams County is a program that allows youth with financial or social barriers to raising an animal such as a rabbit project. 
Donnie Swain, chair of the Small Animals Committee, has been involved with the program since its inception, building rabbit hutches, providing market rabbits, and offering countless hours of advising and mentoring to program participants. Recently, he has worked with the Adams County Court to involve youth placed on probation in the program. Thanks to Donnie, all participants have learned valuable lessons about record keeping, caring for other living things, and following through on their commitment. These skills, they will carry with them long into the future. Thank you, Donnie. Hey, my name is Donnie Swain from Adams County. I've been a volunteer in the 4-H program for 12 years. Uh, my specialty in projects would be uh, small animals, especially rabbits. Um, a highlight to me as a 4-H volunteer is being uh, help the underprivileged kids with a rabbit project, uh, being able to get them rabbits and uh, show them and be able to, able to teach them to do the showmanship and complete the project. Just the look on their faces uh, when they get done with accomplishment is uh, really what 4-H really means. I'm Elizabeth Thomas, 4-H Foundation Board President. My husband Nelson and I are honored to sponsor this next award. To receive the Meritorious Service Award, nominees must have at least 15 years of adult volunteer service to 4-H, including service and contributions to 4-H on the club, county, district, state, or national level, and also be a positive influence for 4-H members in Ohio. Our first recipient this year is Diane Jess of Champaign County. Diane Jess has been a 4-H volunteer in Champaign County for 37 years, serving as a club advisor on the FCS Advisory Committee, teaching 4-H school programs and assisting with judging, skillathons, and the county style review. She's led a countywide community service project that involves making pillows and blankets for the Nationwide Children's Hospital. In 2013, Diane became a master clothing educator and has shared her talents judging in other counties and also at the Ohio State Fair. Diane has also expanded her efforts by creating instructional sewing videos available to everyone on the Champaign County OSU Extension website. Diane loves to teach and 4-H'ers have benefited by her care in paying forward her knowledge. Hello, my name is Diane Jess. I have been a 4-H advisor in Champaign County for 38 years. I'm also a master clothing educator. Each time I say the 4-H pledge, the words remind me of the person I strive to be. Although each part of the pledge is important, the phrase, my hands to larger service, resonates with me. Ohio 4-H provides opportunities for individuals of all ages, watching kids who once struggled to make their first garment, or speak in front of a large group, or properly handle a calf in the show ring and then go on to accomplish their individual goals is indeed rewarding. These seemingly small steps allow them to grow, but also to develop and practice skills for their personal development as well as social skills to make them better citizens, thus learning by doing. I believe a life of servants to others is what truly brings meaning to me. And when we help others accomplish their goals, we cannot help but be rewarded ourselves. As Albert Einstein said, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. I'm deeply honored to receive this recognition today and would like to thank everyone in the 4-H community that I have had the privilege of working and learning with over the years. But most importantly, a thank you to the kids who have allowed me to be a small part of their lives. Good luck and best wishes in the future. Thank you. Our next recipient is Jack Stockham of Scioto County. In 2017, Jack Stockham received his 60 year award at the Ohio 4-H conference and Scioto County teens left their luncheon early just so they could surprise him and cheer from the back of the room when Jack was recognized. 
Jack has had a huge impact on countless youth as a member of camp staff, on the 4-H committee, and advisor to the Teen Leadership Club. Youth who have been lucky enough to be around him know that they can count on Jack for good-natured teasing and lots of tall tales. To Jack, the beauty of 4-H is that any kid can be involved, no matter their financial situation. Jack advocates for all youth, especially those that might get left behind. Jack's positive attitude, his suspenders, and ability to connect with teens after 63 years make him truly outstanding. My name is Jack Stockton. I have been an advisor for 64 years in Southern County. My first love was the Friendship Ridge Runners, Boys Club in 1957, which was a con conservation-based club. The club participated in some experimental activities such as camera, auto, and shooting sports. The club continues today to, by way of new generation of 4-H members that have grown through the 4-H program. For a few years, I had volunteered with the County 4-H Backpack Club, which is a very, very good club and should be continued today. I was inspired to become an advisor after joining 4-H as a member in 1941, and my older brother, Don Jr., was an advisor. Also, I've been a camp advisor and a camp lifeguard at different 4-H camps, Canners Cave, Tar Hall, and Camp Oyo. Volunteering to me means helping young people experience new things and learn responsibility. I've also been involved at the camp, helped out at Camp Ohio through the years. Past members that I have worked with have become school educators, a pilot with a large airliners, a sheriff's deputy, hiking and fishing guides, very many school teachers, hand therapy entertainers, and ran for political office. 4-H has always been a family affair with my brother, wife, son, and granddaughter. I look forward to having a great grandson continuing the passion that I have. I'm Crystal Ott, 4-H Program Manager of the Ohio 4-H Foundation. Our next award is the 4-H Innovator Award, which recognizes adult and youth volunteers who develop new programs, county projects, or activities. This award is sponsored by longtime 4-H supporter, Lois Moody Pushcarriage. This year, the Innovator Award goes to Megan Culler from Huron County. Many youth and adults in Huron County were disappointed when 4-H camp was canceled due to COVID-19. Most just lamented the loss, but Megan Culler did something about it. As a former camper and counselor, and now a 4-H mom and club leader, she was determined to offer a camp experience, and the result was a five-day virtual 4-H camp. The program included portions of a typical day at Huron County 4-H Camp Conger, with a flag raising, pledges, crafts, and other camp activities. She incorporated 15 original videos from 4-H families, YouTube videos, Pinterest links, and recipes. One video was even recorded in Thailand by a former camper, counselor, and adult staff member. There was an overwhelming response to the program, and you can still enjoy it on the Huron County Extension Facebook page. Hello, my name is Megan Culler, and I'm an advisor with the Four Leaf Clovers 4-H Club in Huron County. I have been involved in the 4-H program for the last 25 years, starting out as a clover bud in the second grade and becoming an advisor straight out of high school. Our club has a wide array of projects, including, including livestock, companion animals, and various still projects. I contribute to Ohio 4-H because many others before me have contributed and made a difference in my life and in others. Over the last 25 years, my parents, family members, extension agents, camp counselors, past advisors, and 4-H and Fair family have invested their time, talents, and monies into the 4-H program. The best way I know to properly thank them is by giving back my time and investing in the next generation of 4-H'ers. Some of the most rewarding moments as an advisor are seeing the personal growth of our kids over the years, starting out as shy and timid clover buds and becoming young leaders. I am beyond humbled for this most prestigious award, and I would be remiss if I took all of the credit. 
as my eight-year-old said when we found out about receiving this award, mom, we won an award. And she was 100% right. We won this award. Our online 4-H camp was the brainchild of our 4-H club. Many of our members and the members of other clubs and generations, eight of them in fact, were part of making this year's camp possible. Along with the help of our extension agents who supported our ideas to make this camp happen this year and have helped to continue this family tradition for so many. Thank you. Our next volunteer award is the Ohio 4-H Alumni Award, which recognizes an alumnus who demonstrates distinctive achievement in career or service and who attribute part of their success to the lessons learned while they were in 4-H. This award is sponsored by Ron and Carolyn Cole. This year's recipient of the Ohio 4-H Alumni Award is Tara Durbin of Knox County. Teamwork and leadership are skills that Tara Durbin learned as an active 4-H member. She credits this club work with teaching her some of the skills she uses today as the Senior Vice President of Agricultural Lending at Farm Credit Mid-America. She works closely with other farm credit leaders to provide funding for awards and 4-H programs around the state. Tara has served on the Ohio 4-H Foundation Board since 2015, serving as the Chair of the Marketing Committee, where she was instrumental in the Raise Your Hand campaign, annual celebration of youth, and most recently, development of the Ohio 4-H Foundation Facebook page. The Knox County 4-H program is also important to Tara, where she serves on the Junior Fair Livestock Sales Committee and works with their annual recognition program. Throughout her career, Tara has continually supported youth to ensure they have the same opportunities she was given. Hello everyone, I'm Tara Durbin, proud Ohio 4-H alumni. My husband, Dusty, our two-year-old son, Dax, and our English Mastiff, Elmer, live on a grain farm in Knox County, Ohio. But I grew up in Highland County, just outside of the friendly village of Leesburg, where I was active in 4-H, showing market hogs at both county and state levels. I took up a woodworking project one year, and I also served on our junior fair board. Today, I'm proud to serve on the Ohio 4-H Foundation Board while I chair our marketing committee and support our annual celebration of youth. I am honored to be this year's recipient of the Ohio 4-H Alumni Award, and I want to extend my sincere thank you to OSU Knox County Extension for the nomination. You know, 4-H has played such an important role in my life, helping me to become who I am today. It taught me the value of hard work responsibility, the importance of community service. It instilled strong leadership skills and public speaking skills, as well as the importance of following through on your commitments. And these are all life skills and lessons learned that I carry with me today in my career at Farm Credit Mid-America. Through 4-H, I was able to build lifelong friendships, and I cherish the memories that I was able to make with my family. You know, during my time in 4-H, I had a lot of support, not only from my parents, but from my 4-H leaders and volunteers and our fair board members and those businesses who would show up every year to support our junior fair livestock sale. And I realized that they were investing in me. That is why it's important for me to contribute to Ohio 4-H. It is a true opportunity for me to give back and to pay it forward so that I can ensure that our youth have countless opportunities to learn and to grow and to be inspired for they are our future leaders. I see contributing to Ohio 4-H as a way that I can make a meaningful difference in the lives of others. And I invite you to join me in that endeavor. Thank you. And now let's hear from another one of our evening sponsors, Farm Credit Mid-America. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Ohio 4-H Conference. I'm Keith Lane, Executive Vice President and Chief Lending Officer at Farm Credit Mid-America. 
and it's a pleasure to be part of this virtual event. Farm Credit Mid-America exists to secure the future of rural communities and agriculture, and one of the most important ways we fulfill that purpose is through our support of programs like 4-H. For more than 100 years, 4-H has helped young people develop the leadership skills needed to contribute to rural communities and agriculture. Our connection to 4-H is very deep and personal. In fact, more than half of our Ohio team members were involved in 4-H at one time, and many of them still are involved, either as advisors or volunteer leaders. I am proud to recognize one of these team members, Tara Durbin, who is receiving the Ohio 4-H Alumni Award today. This award recognizes Tara's distinctive achievements in her career and her service to 4-H. There is no doubt in our minds that Tara uses the skills she learned through her participation in 4-H every day in her role as Senior Vice President Agricultural Lending for the State of Ohio. Congratulations, Tara. We are so proud of your accomplishments as an alumna of 4-H and a valued leader at Farm Credit Mid-America. Congratulations to all of our volunteer award winners in 2021. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Fleshman, a 4-H member from Franklin County and the current president of the Ohio 4-H Teen Leadership Council. I have the privilege of recognizing some remarkable individuals for some very well-deserved honors. Our 2021 Teen of the Year Award and the four new members of the 2021 class the Ohio 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. The Teen of the Year and Teen Hall of Fame awards are generously sponsored by Dawn and Jane Shriver. First, the 2021 Ohio 4-H Teen of the Year. This award honors one individual in the Ohio 4-H program between the ages of 13 and 18 for their performance, dedication, and passion for the 4-H program over the past year. The 2021 Ohio 4-H Teen of the Year, Haven Heilman from Scioto County. This year, Haven Heilman stepped up to the challenge to help her club, community, county, and state tackle the obstacles they faced. She led a virtual Easter egg hunt for children in her community, collected activity bags to donate to Nationwide Children's Hospital, coordinated a countywide 4-H club Christmas card drive for local nursing homes, and taught virtual lessons and activities used for an Ag Adventure Day and Project Clinic. She has sought out events and activities to help her learn and grow through the years. Her wide variety of projects and recognition is a testament to her drive, determination, and desire to improve her knowledge and understanding, all while making her community, county, and world. Hello, my name is Haven Heilman and I am a 13-year 4-H member from Sada County and the Country Cousins and Kids 4-H Club. Through 4-H, I take market hogs, breeding gilts, dairy heifers, breeding rabbits, community service, leadership, and food and nutrition projects. The most impactful experience during my 4-H involvement was when I was selected in 2019 as this Fine Achievement Award winner and was given the chance to represent Ohio at the National 4-H Congress in Atlanta, Georgia. While there, I attended leadership trainings, participated in a cultural food night, the German chocolate cake was the best, and got to visit the Georgia Aquarium. The most impactful experience during this trip, though, was when I was selected to speak at Riverside Public Elementary School in Atlanta. During the National 4-H Congress, all youth are assigned to a different community service project. I received a special role at my project as I would be responsible for teaching the students a lesson. The lesson I taught was about the life cycle of market poultry and the agriculture industry. It was at this moment I knew I wanted to be an advocate for the 4-H program. 4-H has provided me with so many opportunities and I'm so excited to give back to the program that has given me so much. Presenting to the class and being responsible for what the students learn pushed me out of my comfort zone, but I am so glad that it did. This experience built up my confidence and gave me the ability to chase after my 4-H goals. Like the 4-H motto says, I am constantly pushing myself to be the best role model and 4-H member I can be. I am honored to receive the 2021 Ohio 4-H Teen of the Year Award, and I hope to continue to be a positive role model in 4-H. Ohio 4-H has shaped me into who I am today, and I am so thankful to be, set, to be a part of such an impactful community. I would like to say thank you to my county extension agents, Joe Williams and Josie Bro Evans, for their continued support along my 4-H journey. 
Once again, I am Haven Heilman, the 2021 Ohio 4-H Teen of the Year. The next four individuals are the 2021 class of the Ohio 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. Each fall, County 4-H professionals nominate deserving teens for this honor. Those who receive this honor are dedicated to making the best better in their club, community, country, and world. Our first inductee is Grace Collins from Hardin County. Grace has excelled in clothing and textiles projects and has served on the Ohio 4-H Fashion Board. She is a member of the Ohio 4-H Teen Leadership Council, serves on the Hardin County Junior Fair Board, and is a 4-H Camp Counselor. Grace has impacted hundreds of younger 4-H members through these leadership roles. She has a natural ability to lead through action, teaching others along the way. From helping younger members with their sewing projects to teaching her club to make blankets for local nursing homes, Grace has taken the skills learned through her projects and translated them to meaningful community service. She is an excellent 4-H mentor, member, leader, and friend. Hi, my name is Grace Collins and I'm from Hardin County and this is my ninth year in 4-H. While being in 4-H, I have focused on the areas of sewing and mental health. I love the Ohio 4-H program because of the special opportunities that 4-Hers can experience. I am in Teen Leadership Council and I am a region representative. And while being in those roles, I have gained skills such as communication and time management and responsibility. Those skills will help develop me to become a better student in my future. I have also really enjoyed going on extra trips such as going to Washington DC and leadership camp. I've met so many people through this 4-H program some that I still talk to today and have developed very personal relationships with. I have also met people that have very different perspectives than me and helped develop my horizon. I'm so grateful for my opportunity to be involved with this program so heavily and I wouldn't have it any other way. Our next inductee is Maria Lahneman of Portage County. Maria's achievements and her 4-H career are inspiring as she always strives to make the best better. She created the Heavy Hugs Weighted Blanket Program to encourage other 4-H youth to participate in sewing projects and encourage them to give back to their community. When her blanket program was put on hold, she switched to making masks for the community. She is a true leader and role model to youth and adults alike through her dedication and love of all things 4-H. She is always looking to encourage others to get involved because she knows firsthand what a life-changing experience 4-H has been for her. Not only does Maria strive to do as much as she can in 4-H, she always has a positive attitude and has a smile on her face. Hi, my name is Maria Lahneman and I'm from Portage County. In addition to being a 13-year member, I'm also a third-generation Ohio 4 h -er. I'm president of my 4-H club, Everything Under the Sun, which has 51 members. Over the years, I've been a part of four different clubs and held numerous officer positions. I'm a camp counselor, a car team's peer mentor on my county's junior fair board, a youth representative to the advisory board, and in the past, I've been a healthy living advocate. Some of my major awards include being the 2020 National 4-H Youth in Action Honorable Mention for the Civic Engagement Pillar. The 2019 Ohio Poultry Achievement Award winner, which allowed me to attend the National 4-H Congress in Atlanta, Georgia. Also, the 2018 Avian Bowl Ohio Team Captain. I'm a senior at Field High School, where I'm a part of the National Honor Society. I also attend Kent State University through the College Credit Plus program, where I made Dean's List last fall. I love Ohio 4-H because there are numerous opportunities to become involved. Ohio 4-H has the best projects. I joined at age five as a clipper, but, and since then I've taken numerous projects, but my favorite is poultry. I've competed on county and state level in poultry judging, showmanship, skillathon, and exhibition and market. The most rewarding project I've taken is sewing. The sewing skills I've learned has enabled me to do multiple community service projects. The Ohio 4-H Foundation grant made my Heavy Hugs Weighted Blanket project possible. Through this civic engagement project, I teach sewing, autism awareness, and encourage youth in community service. Ohio 4-H has numerous statewide programs and events. 
They also have the best camps I have ever been to, such as Space Camp, Camp Whitewood, Canner's Cave, and Kelly's Island Sea Camp. The absolute best part of Ohio 4-H is the community itself. I have a network of friends and supporters that I would never have found anywhere else. 4-H has cultivated my leadership, citizenship, responsibility, confidence, and life skills, which has provided me a foundation for my future. I owe a great deal of gratitude to Ohio 4-H and my 4-H educators, advisors, mentors, and peers who encourage me every day to make the best better. Our third inductee is Madeline Smith of Franklin County. Madeline is a natural born leader. She's someone who takes action when it's needed and as a result has taken roles at the county, state, and national levels of 4-H. She has impacted the lives of others as a health hero. She's always the first to volunteer to help with an event and always willing to participate in activities. Her motivation and determination to make things happen is just as important as her willingness to help those around her be successful. Whether it's a service project or just preparing for camp, Madeline always goes the extra mile. She makes every interaction with others impersonal, ensuring everyone is welcome and able to achieve their goals. Hello everyone, my name is Madeline Smith and I'm an eight-year 4-H member from Franklin County, Ohio. During my 4-H career, I've spent time in my club completing projects such as sewing, shooting sports, market rabbits, community service planning, and much more. I've had the chance to become an active member of my community as the 2019 Franklin County Fair Queen and by working with community and 4-H leaders to put on events such as the Franklin County Walk and Serve. I've had a chance to impact my country through 4-H when I spoke to government officials about teen substance abuse and the importance of peer-to-peer -peer prevention. Now, as I go out into the world and take on many more adventures, I'll get the chance to take the skills and lessons 4-H has taught me and make the best better. One of the biggest ways 4-H has impacted me is through the Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocacy Program. I became an Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocate in 2017 and quickly realized we've been doing a lot more than just promoting a healthy diet and getting plenty of physical activity. As an Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocate, I've had the chance to take on some of the biggest health issues facing teens today, such as teen substance abuse and ending the mental health stigma. When I joined the Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocates, the idea of taking on such heavy issues terrified me. I was 100% sure that I did not have what it takes to take on such a big issue. Thankfully, the first thing I gained in 4-H was a community. And with the support of my family, fellow Healthy Living Advocates, and incredible advisors, I continued with the program. My community has been a major contributor to the success of every project I have taken on inside and outside the area of healthy living. The support I have within this incredible network has allowed me to grow into the leader I am today. I've been given a lot of opportunities since becoming an Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocate, and I've taken on topics such as the opiate crisis, vaping, and ending mental health stigma. As a healthy living advocate, I gained the skills and confidence I needed to be able to advocate for my own health and that of my peers. In October of 2018, I was given the opportunity to represent National 4-H during a youth listening session in Washington, D.C. at the United States Department of Education. I was asked to provide insight on the importance of peer-to-peer -peer prevention when it came to addressing substance abuse. As I stood there and explained the work the Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Advocates were doing across our state, it occurred to me that I wasn't afraid anymore. I had taken a thousand tiny steps and it wasn't until that led to that moment. And it wasn't until that day that I realized I wasn't scared. The Ohio 4-H Healthy Living Program has given me a better perspective on the challenges my peers face. And I've learned that by arming myself with the facts, I can gain the confidence needed to speak out about an issue. Becoming, this part of, becoming a part of that program was one of the most impactful experiences of my 4-H career. And I'm forever grateful to have had the opportunity to work alongside advisors like Dr. Teresa Ferrari and Carol Smathers, as well as my fellow 4-H Healthy Living Advocates. It's a blessing I do not take for granted. And it is a blessing I do not take for granted to have been able to work with a thousand other amazing 4-Hers from across the state, my county educators, Beth Boomershine and Rachel Stoneburner, and to have been a part of this wonderful program with all of you. Thank you all for inducting me into the Ohio Forest Sheen Hall of Fame. Our final inductee is Matthew Swearington of Adams County. Matthew has become a true leader, 
both in his community and statewide through the 4-H program. His personal growth and leadership development since attending the Leadership Washington Focus program has been profound. His, he is committed, detail-oriented, and attentive. He's respected among his peers for his commitment to learning by doing, leading by example, and being inclusive of all. He has set an example of leadership, mentorship, and service in Adams County and nationwide through his experiences and pursuits. Matthew's dedication to the 4-H program, his eagerness to experience every opportunity, and his willingness to share his story with all other 4-Hers makes him a true Ohio 4-H Teen Hall of Famer. Hi, I'm Matthew Swearingen from Adams County. I've been a member of Ohio 4-H ever since I was a clover bud. That makes 11 years. My favorite part of Ohio 4-H isn't just one single event or opportunity. My favorite part of Ohio 4-H are the numerous statewide opportunities that have allowed me to meet other 4-Hers from across the state of Ohio and from around the globe. It's because of a network like this that I've fallen in love with 4-H and have made constant strides to make the best better. One of the most impactful experiences I've had as a 4-H member was when I served as a member of the Cultural Immersion Project to Puerto Rico. Through this project, I was able to complete a major service learning project learn about the agricultural landscape in the mountains of Puerto Rico, and even reconnect with a few 4-H friends that I met on a previous trip. This project, as well as hundreds of other 4-H experiences, have made me the person that I am today. Congratulations to the 4-H Teen of the Year and the newest members of the Ohio 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. It is now time to honor those who have selflessly given 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and even 65 years of service to 4-H. Your continued contributions and the time you have given to 4-H members and programs have made a lasting impact. Before we begin, we want to take a moment to thank Ohio Farm Bureau Foundation, our sponsor of the 10-year awards. The mission of the Ohio Farm Bureau Foundation is inspiring innovation and cultivating investment in Ohio's farm and food community. We are so appreciative of their support and we thank them for their sponsorship of these awards. The Ohio Farm Bureau Federation and the Ohio Farm Bureau Foundation are once again proud sponsors of the event this year. Despite challenges of being able to get together in person, we're glad to see people come together virtually to support the development of Ohio's young people. Farm Bureau is a proud sponsor of our next generation of young agricultural leaders and look forward to our continued support of Ohio 4-H. Tonight, we conclude our evening with a list of these longtime volunteers and look forward to continuing to make the best better in 2021. Our thanks for all that you do. Forty years of service, Esther Sherrick, Allen County. Charlie Flagger, Ashland County. Bernice Comp, Ashtabula County. Paula Carpenter, Athens County. Steve Sidner, Oblis County. Susan Sidner, Oblis County. Christine Neal, Brown County. Cheryl Jones, Carroll County. Ruth Raham, Clark County. Vicki Bogan, Clinton County. Donald Gear, Clinton County.
Chris Doyle, Fairfield County. Brenda Sanders, Gallia County. Jan Jackham, Geauga County. Gary Hutchison, Green County. Helen Carrig, Guernsey County. Karen Ripley, Guernsey County. Carol Boyles, Hancock County. Sherry Brooks, Hancock County. Doug Seiler, Hardin County. Carol Watts, Holmes County. Kathy Gale, Huron County. Richard Ruess, Huron County. Charlotte Johnson, Jackson County. Karen Hill, Jefferson County. Barbara Bluebaugh, Knox County. Jerry Lamb, Knox County. Michael Forbush, Lawrence County. Leslie Millison, Lawrence County. Terry Bland, Looking County. Debbie Raber, Mahoning County. Vicki Longwell, Monroe County. James Hoffman, Montgomery County. Debbie Eric, Morgan County. Shirley Lear, Pickaway County. Francis Prochinski, Portage County. Carolyn Gittinger, Seneca County. Randall Gittinger, Seneca County. Harry and Juanita Perry, Washington County. John Lefevre, Wayne County. Kimberly Muma, Wayne County. Charlotte Lusk, Wood County. Sherry Goodman, Wyandotte County. 45 years of service. Michael Barnes, Ashtabula County. G. Richard Flax, Clark County. Carol Stevenson, Claremont County. Rose Rear, Crawford County.
Tim Rhodes, Dark County. Barb Mulford, Franklin County. Ronald Sloan, Gallia County. Betty Flynn, Hancock County. Mary Regal, Jackson County. Stella Pushcarriage, Jefferson County. Coralie Paulson, Licking County. Mary Lawyer, Marion County. Mary Ann Weber, Miami County. Tom Hoffman, Montgomery County. Diane Bishop, Portage County. Christine Farson, Sandusky County. Judy Wortman, Van Wert County. Mary Ann Mitchell, Washington County. Fifty Years of Service, Sarah Hammers, Ashtabula County. Lee Miller, Fairfield County. Richard Wilson, Guernsey County. Megan Miller, Holmes County. Joyce Weatherell, Jefferson County. Joy Feldner, Noble County. Carol Lunsford, Preble County. Dan Kreider, Ross County. Karen Halley, Sandusky County. Patricia Overmeyer, Seneca County. Richard Domer, Stark County. Janice Congleton, Washington County. Fifty five years of service Beverly Bentley, Clinton County. Elaine Bonar, Columbiana County. Tony Carrera, Mahoning County.
Karen Borland, Marion County. Carrie Jellison, Van Wert County. Bard McCarns, Columbiana County. Sixty Years of Service, Anish Strine, Ashland County. Nancy Craig, Trumbull County. 65 Years of Service, Weta May Least, Pickaway County. Seventy-four Years of Service, Charlotte Wagner, Washington County. On behalf of OSU Extension and our 4-H professionals and the Ohio 4-H Foundation, congratulations to all of the youth and volunteers recognized this evening. And thanks to all of you who continue to make the best better for Ohio 4-H. Have a good night.